Is that Braun? Nah, how they got Braun on here? Hey, Boogie. Nah, they going crazy. Liberty line up. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love and we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, you guys. Okay, that's the energy we like. So we'll be bringing out some single women one by one. If she's your type, you like what you see, you like what you hear, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything, you know, she says or anything on her you're not really feeling, go ahead and pop your balloon. And then I'll go over to each of you and see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Oh, okay. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Andrea. Andrea, how old are you? I'm 30. And what do you do? I'm a dental office receptionist. Very cool. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? I'm probably the most basic person you're ever going to meet. <laughs> what I do for fun is being at home. I do love nature. <laughs> I like taking walks. Um, I will go out on occasion, so I like comedy shows if you want to go out. Okay. Um, I want to get more into traveling, which is something I hope to do next year with some things I have working out for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I whatever my person likes to do, honestly, okay. I'm pretty open. Nice. <laughs> now, speaking of your person, what are some things you look for in them? I am looking for a leader and my best friend mm. as far as what I'm actually looking for in them as far as traits you mean yeah whatever it is what's something like when you're trying to find out oh, okay i think i like this person what are some traits you look for definitely um i'm looking for someone who is strong like i said i'm looking for a leader um someone who has good character mm -hmm. um someone who's disciplined someone who can motivate me and pick me up also someone who likes to have fun mm -hmm. someone who has empathy <laughs> i can go on <laughs> okay <laughs> now so. what are some of your deal breakers Let's see, deal breakers would be lack of affection. Mm. Um, I need, we're dating in a relationship, whatever the case may be, like, I need you to show affection to me. I like yeah. to cuddle, I like to kiss all of that. Um, <laughs> another one would probably be, I would say if you just, you're not growing as okay. a person. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so we did get a pop balloon. Okay. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. All right. Pretty simple. We can go ahead and start for. with your name and age. I'm Ricky. I'm 32. Can't ask for too much. And Ricky, what do you do? I'm a regional manager for a security company, and I work for Metro Valley for personal protection for the fair revenue team. I work two jobs. Nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? Don't get me wrong. You're very beautiful. The attraction is there for me and everything. It's just you're a homebody, and you kind of seem born to me. Oh, that's and, okay. Uh, so it's like, oh, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm new to this state and everything like that. Yeah. So. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. We just gonna be bored together, and yes. I don't even want to waste your time with that. Understandable. So, okay. you're very beautiful. Thank like you. the attraction is there. So, but outside of that, it's just giving dull to me. Sorry about that. Okay. I get it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so now, is Ricky someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? I prefer a more seasoned man. That's all. What do you mean by <laughs> What do you mean by seasoned? Um, that looks a little older. Um if you will, a little. He doesn't look immature, but I just like the more mature, somewhat put together man, if you will. Yeah. Okay. Not again, not that you're not, but it's just a certain type of look. I mean, just the more older okay. look. Oh, respect yeah. that. Respect mm -hmm. that. Respect mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Let's head on back. All right. So we do still have five balloons left unpopped. Okay. I am going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your type. Okay. Um, what do you look for in a woman? Okay, let's start over here with your name and age. Hey, how you doing? My name is Ishama. I'm 37. Okay. And Ishama, what do you do? I work in production and I also do photography as well. Okay. And if you want to just go ahead and answer her question, what do you look for in a woman? I ain't gonna lie, bro. She is wearing a curtain, bro. 
like a whole curtain. Like, is that a bed sheet? If she was gonna wear this, she might as well have just covered it all up. You know what I'm saying? Why? What? Woman. <sighs> Someone that's uh cool, down to earth. Um, like to go out, eat, um, travel, exercise. I'm not really a big exerciser in my current state, but I love, I do like someone that's uh, motivated in that way where we could uh, also motivate each other as well. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So like someone to motivate me and um, also uh, someone that's just outgoing and just family oriented as well too. Yes. So that's a big thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank Thanks. you. Let's go on over here. If we can start with your name and age. My name is Nelson. I'm 38 years old. And Nelson, what do you do? Manager for the United States Postal Service. Okay. And now her question was, what are some things you look for in a woman? What I look for is uh, also my best friend, uh, a woman who's relentless, who's not going to give up on a relationship when things get hard and when we have a disagreement, a woman who's ambitious, uh, who wants to better herself, uh, humble and humorous as well. Okay. Nice. Straight to the point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to our next guy here. Your name and age? I'm Cedric. I'm 32. And Cedric, what do you do? I work in sports. I work in media and I'm a sports agent. Okay. okay, very cool. Now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, just high quality woman, just someone who knows her mind, speaks her mind, um, just well mannered and put together. Okay. Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age? Trey, I'm 29. Trey, what do you do? Customer service rep for a door manufacturer. Okay, and what do you look for in a woman? Basically, like my best friend, somebody who's willing to work through problems and not just run out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Pretty much just a well. Well-rounded woman. Okay. Yeah. All right. And let's go on to our last guy here. Your name and age? Yeah, my name is Timothy. I'm 37. Timothy, what do you do? Um, I'm an independent contractor and a professional day trader. Okay. All right. And what do you look for in a woman? Uh, someone that's uh, open-minded, um, also who's willing to grow with me and help me problem-solve, not just worry about you know, challenges, but if there's something that comes up, kind of can work things together yeah. as a partner, as a team, pretty okay. much. Okay. All right, okay. let's head on back. I know that was a lot of information, <laughs> a lot Lord. of information, but I am going to go ahead and hand you a pic because okay. it is time to pop some balloons. Okay. So I'll have you hold this and I am going to have you pop two balloons. Okay. Based off of what you see, what you've heard, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two and then we'll see why you popped. Yeah. <laughs> I can't ask another question, kind of. Next round, yeah. Okay, yep. <laughs> I figure. Let me just say, this is a lot harder when you're actually on the set versus. I bet, I bet. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, it won't, it's not gonna pop. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Here we go, <laughs> okay, one more. Oh, he okay, did it. I'll have you stay right there. We'll start over here. Okay, Jeez. and Timothy? Yes. And why did you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, yeah, she's uh, very attractive. Um, I like the dress and everything. Um, didn't get enough information, but a date would probably, I wouldn't know a lot. And um, I don't think that was a good decision, to be honest with you. Okay. You would have learned a lot from me, and I w it, it would have only took me one date. That was it. Okay. One date, and I would have won you in one date for sure, 100%. Yes, Okay. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, again, I would probably be interested in getting to know him, but mm -hmm. I mean, this is, if we're being honest, it's just a show. So I have to go first off of physical appearance. Okay. Um, again, which isn't bad, but um, my type would be, you know, a more older, a seasoned man as far as, you know, the way he dresses. What's she looking for? Um, 50? Just that more older, seasoned man kind of a concept. How much older are you, are you talking? Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> um, late thirties, early forties, usually. I don't mind. I mind this man in his early thirties, but it just has the look of like early twenties, if you will. That dress type. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. And we did pop one more back here. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um. Yeah. She's a tragic young lady. She looks nice. We're around the same age, so I understand. I get it. <laughs> she want an older man, so. Oh, yeah. So, you know how this go. Yeah. All right, so where do we end up popping his? Um, same thing. You know, like I said, for, sorry for going off physical first. Um, just not my first preference. That's all. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's head on Thank back. You. All right, so we do have three remaining guys. Let's go ahead and ask them another question. 
Okay, I probably should have asked this first. Um, how do you feel about a woman with children? Okay, start over here. I got kids too, so. Okay. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Um, okay. We got, we got my girl. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go over here. Got yeah, no problem with that. I got kids myself. So we'll be a whole happy bunch. But uh, I got a question for you though. Yes. Do you have baby daddy drama? I do not. Okay. No, sir. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> let's go over here. Okay. Um, I don't have any myself, but I would not get for one anything over one. Probably no. Okay. Okay. Now, how many kids do you I have? have? Two little ones. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> All right. So he did end up popping over the kids, but is okay. he someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? Uh, same thing. It's just uh, first preference. So, okay, okay. So you did have your balloon on pop for her for quite some time until you heard she has more than one kid. Um, why so? That is the only reason. No, I mean, like, why did you have it on pop before that? <laughs> she's very attractive. Um, other than more than one kid, she's perfect in my eyes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. And we did get a pop back here. Okay. We'll be back for you. Why did we end up popping? Um, you're beautiful. Thank you. Here's fire, all of that stuff, but. I mean, I'm very, I'm visual as hell, mm -hmm. and like the nails, I yes. didn't care for it so much. Mm -hmm. Plus, like the, I'm not really a fan of the fit too much. But you okay. are again gorgeous as well too. I but appreciate it. No turn down on that. Sorry. No worries. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. And now is he someone that's your type? I would say yeah. I talked to him if we were out. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate He's it. Sweet. He has a sweet, for, uh, friendly face. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so we do have one unpopped okay. balloon. Let's head on over there. Okay, any questions for our lady here? I do, I do. Um, I know everyone here popped their balloon. So let's be honest here. So sure. who would, uh, out of these gentlemen, was your first choice? Mm. Based off of what? Based off of looks. Wow, that's okay. <laughs> oh, she, she got a question. I have to She's answer poppy. this, don't I? I'm just being She's honest. Um, I'll be 100% honest. Yeah. It would have been you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you took too All long, right. though. I and why. why is that? If, if I may ask. You fit my type. I oh, like your facial features. I like right. the way you dress. You're okay. confident, Thank but you also you don't need to be loud. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, I, like I could that. be loud. <laughs> I know you but, can. Uh, um, sure you can. I, I, I do have another question, though. Um, sure. Do you want more kids? I'm content with my two, and I would love more kids either way. Okay. Yeah. All right. Either way. All right, let me, come on up, come on up, come on up. Okay, so I have a final question, unless you guys have any others. Oh, and uh, uh, where do you live at? Kansas City. Chiefs fan? Depends. <laughs> Depends, right? Depends on who you ask. How do you, so I live in the Bay Area, so how do you feel about flying to the Bay? Because, I, I mean, I have no problem flying over there, so. I said I'm down to travel. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Especially for the right person. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Good. Okay, so then is it going to be a yes for you for her? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a <laughs> match. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Too? Let's give it up for them. <laughs> okay. 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 Progress. Progress. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you take that. What's your name? Uh, Brianna. Brianna? Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 29. And what do you do? Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Do you have any businesses we could be on the lookout for? Uh, no, just not right now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I'm a gamer, so I just more be to myself. Okay. Um, I'm a PC gamer, so I got like... I'm a gamer. That's all. Okay. That's what I love to do for fun, to be honest. So. <laughs> all right. Um, and now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, a confident man, loyal. Um, I don't know. A man that really knows about himself, you know. Um, not really on career set, you know, just more of if he knows what he want to go for. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, just a confident man that knows how to treat a lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some deal breakers? Uh, a felon. Um, <laughs> Um, I don't know, a judgmental man. I don't like nobody that just judge, you know, off of appearance or anything like that. Mm. So okay. that's really it. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. 
All right, let's start here with your name and age. How you doing? Uh, my name is Ishama. I'm 37. Okay. And Ishama, why did you end up popping your balloon? I apologize. It was the tattoos that caught me. Good? And I'm just not a fan of too much oh, tattoos and stuff like that. I, even though I have tattoos myself, mm -hmm. it's just like, yeah, it was just a little too you're much. Good. But gorgeous yourself, though. Thank you. No problem. Mm -hmm. Now, is, is Ishama someone that's your type? You're not bad looking. Appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age? Ricky, and I'm 32. Nice to meet you. And Ricky, why did you end up popping your balloon? First and foremost, I couldn't get past the shoes. Like, they squeezing your feet, and it's like they're suffocating. Uh, I just couldn't get past that. Okay. For me, another thing, the physical attraction just mm -hmm. wasn't there for me. Mm -hmm. Like, wasn't my speed. Like, when I look at something, I want to be like, oh, I got to get that. Or right. I, I need that. And it's just right. like... Oh, huh. Next. I wouldn't say squeezing. So, I would like, say, like, falling the traction off. wasn't there. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So is Ricky someone that's your type? I um, mean, he's cool. Okay. Cool? You got a strong but face. Hanging out the shoes. Oh. I love it, though. You mean, like, his jawline? Is that what yeah. you mean strong? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you should eat a lot more. But I love it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mm hmm You are beautiful as well. Thank so you. I never thought I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's go on over here to our next guy. Your name and age? Trey, and I'm 29. Hello. Trey, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, kind of like what my boy said down there, just a neck tattoo. I don't really like it. <laughs> so everything else is perfect, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. the tattoos. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> They're my favorite say, part Nintendo? about me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a Nintendo throat. Oh, is that what that says? <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, yeah. okay. You cool, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he's cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Let's go over here. Hello. Your name and age. Timothy, I'm 37. Okay. Hi. And Timothy, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm um, just not attracted. I don't like the tattoos and the leg. You got a leg tattoo. Um, Aw. I just don't see myself having fun with you. Like, okay. I wanna, I'm looking to have some fun. Right. And I uh, just, I don't know. It's, okay. And a little, the weight, you're, you're kind of overweight for me, okay. too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So is Timothy someone that's your type? No, he looks his age. Oh. He does look like he's 37. It's okay though. Okay. He's about nine, 10 years older than me. But I do. You... It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let's head back. So we do have one unpopped balloon. All right. Um, any questions for each other? Yeah, how many kids you got? I got three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kids obviously are a deal breaker, but before that, is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she look good. You know, I like the tattoos, you know, that's look, they look nice. But Thank you. Just the key is my limit. I ain't going to lie. You. Can't, can't even lie to you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Now, is Cedric someone that's your type? No. Okay. What makes him not your type? The way he looks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. He's just not my Ironic. type. Ironic. Nah, for oh. real. So when you say the way he looks, like his the face. outfit. Oh. Okay. He's fine. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay. Don't, don't laugh. Please. You're making me laugh. I'm not trying not him. to. <laughs> he should be the last person laughing on this stage. Oh. Yeah. Who? The last guy? Yeah. Why are you laughing at him? Oh, okay. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons thank pops. Bobby Do, thank you so much for coming thank on. You. Let's go ahead and give it up for you her, like, guys. Uh, is it Ursula? Thank, thank you. you. I'm tripping. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Kay. Kay, how old are you? I'm 30. And what do you do? I am a fashion designer, a stylist, and I'm a toddler teacher. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, Travel, um, skate. I'm a roller skater, okay. so... Yeah, <laughs> um, I like to draw. I am a gamer girl, so I like to play video games oh. when I am in the house, uh -huh. literally. Okay. That's it. <laughs> now, what are um, some things you look for in a man? Someone that likes to travel, spontaneous, um, like to have fun, a little bit introverted, because like we can mm. go out, but I, I don't want to go out like that. Not all the time. No. No. <laughs> no. All right. And now, um, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers are kind of like basic, but a lot of men like these. Okay. So, um, communicative, chivalrous, spiritual, and uh, 
is in therapy or willing to go to therapy? I feel as though everyone needs therapy. Okay. So if you feel like you don't need therapy, baby, don't come over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, so I ain't going. We have no pop balloons. You are doing great. Okay. So what that means is I'm actually going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pic. Okay. I'll have you hold that. And for this first round, I'm going to have you pop one balloon just based off of what you're seeing. Whoever's not really your type, whatever it is, maybe it's outfit. I don't know. Go ahead and pop those that balloon, and then we'll see why you ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> um, I ought to go to therapy. Um, They'll be perfect. Nothing wrong with me. All right, let's start over here with your name and age. I'm Cedric. I'm 31. Okay. And Cedric, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Mm, she looks nice. Thank okay. you. <laughs> All right, and now why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, Just the initial attraction. Okay. Um, yeah. Was there anything specific? The outfit. The outfit, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Let's head on back. And for this next round, I'm going to have you ask the guys a question just to help you narrow it down. Okay. So what is one thing that your closest friends will say that is, that you need to work on as far as friendship and a partnership? All right. Let's start over here with your name and age and the answer to her question. That was a tough one right there. Um, I'm Good. Ishama. I am 37. What's your name? Ishama. Ishama? Yeah. Okay, it's pretty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, something my friends would tell me I need to work on, need to, would probably be like me reaching out if I need help or something like that. Because I'm usually like, I could do this on my own. I could do this on my own. But nah, sometimes I need to go out there and just ask for help whenever I need it, you know? So okay. that's pretty much it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> as far as that's friendship and partnership? Partnership. Yeah, oh. so friendship and partnership. Partnership would be, oof. Oh, oh man. Um, something my partner would probably want me to, my partner might ask me to do as well, too, is just like, again, probably reaching out or just, uh, I don't know. That's what. For me, I need to go back. I got to come back to that one. Okay. It's a little okay. tough one. <laughs> okay. It's a tough question. All right. Okay. Let's go to our next guy. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to her question. I'm Ricky and I'm 32. Something I need to work on is a friendship that all my friends say. Because all my friends are established, married, families and everything. And there's me. So I need to understand and work on that uh, I'm the single friend in life. <laughs> so I can't keep calling up Tim and him every day. Like, hey, bro, let's do this. Yeah. He got a life. He got a family. And everything. I'm the single it's, friend, too. It's okay. And, which is what I'm trying to accomplish and be there one day. As a relationship, what I need to work on and understand is that I think a lot that I've learned is I'm my biggest downfall with that. Like, the reason I don't have the relationship that I'm looking for and everything is because of what I'm liking. What I'm, you know, used to, I can't get that happily ever after. Mm -hmm. based on what I like and everything. So I need to realize my wants and needs and everything like that and get that. I need to go back to the drawing board and really have more predictable or understandable terms. And, you know, when it comes to looking for a relationship like that, so just lower my expectations a little bit Maybe like that. Maybe just not built for Maybe a relationship. Maybe I find Never that lower your expectations. Mm. Never lower them. If you want what you want, stick to it. Look, it's, it's kind of like... Sorry. It's kind of like looking for love in today's generation. It's like I'm looking for that old school love with modern women. You're looking woman. for a four leaf clover. You gotta find the right person. It's okay. Stick to it. Nah, nah, nah. That's fine. Yeah. But when I'm surrounded by Gen Z type of women mentality, like these young women mentality. Change your environment. Mm. Yeah. That's why I'm in Arizona, oh. Chicago, <laughs> Okay. Let's go on to our next guy. <laughs> your name and age and the answer to her question. I'm Trey, I'm 29. Um, as far as friendship, probably communicating like when needing help reaching out um, relationship wise, probably expressing my feelings when before things get past dudes to where like you should have expressed them in the beginning. I, I gotta do better with just expressing them at the beginning of like when I when I feel them, letting that my partner know. Other than that, that'd probably be the two main things out of. Okay. okay. Thank you. Let's go on over here, your name and age and answer to her question. Uh, yes, my name is Timothy. I'm 37. Um, as far as friendship, I would say um, they would probably want me to level up more, more like finan financially. And as a partnership, I would say probably be more affectionate, pay attention to more detail with the women, for sure. Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's head on back, and it is time to pop. Oh, you want to add something? Okay. <laughs> all right, so all right, so my thing is, I'm very picky in certain things, and I'm also I expect a lot from my partner sometimes, and I think that could be a downfall for me. So like when I'm with that person, sometimes I could be a little picky sometimes with what she do or what it might be the case. But I'm trying to work on that side of me. I'm a Virgo, so that's a part of me. So yeah. Just oh. you know. <laughs> uh, Throwing the sign in Turn there. <laughs> that's nice to know. All right, so I am going to have you pop okay. one balloon. Got a zodiac. Based off of, you know, what, whatever, you heard, whatever it is, go ahead and pop. Her leg is so soon. I know, I know. Okay. okay. No one wants to pop? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, you said just one? Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, pop yours. Yeah, bro. All just right. Told so, broke. why did we end up popping his balloon? His response: oh. lack of affection. Um, I feel like my love language is affectionate. Is like the least, like the last one for me. But I can be affectionate when it comes to my partner. So we both can't like those things. Mm -hmm. Like one of us have to want to give that part of us, you know. And then you said love what with your finances. I don't know what that looks like for you. Um, but for me, you hear what she said? One of us has to do it. That's what she said. Then do it. Like finances isn't a big thing, but I'm a big person. And at one point, at some point, finances will be a big thing for me because of like who I am. I'm a designer. I'm a stylist. And like, so I'm up there. Right. So, like, I want at least us, I want us to be at the same level, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, I would say I've been told that before. So when I say pay attention to more detail, more like I may not be in that moment. And you may want some affection. I may not be there at the moment. But if I pay more attention to detail, I can pick up, okay, you want to be held or something like that. Just those, It's just a little thing. It's not like mm -hmm. that's... I'm not doing nothing. It's just those little detailed things I get, I get spanked for pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Those little things will be big things. That's true. That's <laughs> yeah. true. That's true. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and ask another question. Me? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Um, what is, what's the most spontaneous thing that you've done that you shouldn't have done, oh. but it was it was fun. And you was just like, I'm never gonna do that again, but it was fun. Mm. Like they're all thinking like, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, oh, he's ready. Let's go to one that's already ready. Let's start right here. Flew somebody out on their period. Oh, what? <laughs> never again. Oh, it, uh, was, it was fun. Did we you had... know that she was on her period? Oh, yeah, of course. Nah, I'm definitely dog. checking with that. But then for me, it's like, okay, now I know you're on your period. What's going to look like if I change my flight now? Now it's going to look Did like. Did you use protection? Did you use. No, we, we didn't do anything. I mean, we had a. The time was So bad. you wasted time and money. Y you feel me? No, I don't. Because why you fly her on the first place? Just but that's my thing. Like, it's a, a personal what? close friend of mine and everything tried to take it like that. But then, like I said, when I realized. It ain't nothing happening. Like, I don't care about having fun. So you wasted her time. How? She got a free trip. <laughs> yeah, but she came out. It don't matter if it's a free trip. She with you. What that mean? Or were you not spending time together? Yeah. Just everything she wanted. I dropped the bat. Did everything. But it's like, like I said, that was something fun that I wouldn't do again. Like you said, that you, was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun for who? Yeah. For both of us. <laughs> Okay, if you have fun, love, then so, that's all so, that matters. So in order for yeah, you to dude. have fun and connect and to be with somebody like that, sex got to be involved? I didn't say sex. That's what your perception. I never said that. But, I was. You said on her period. So the first thought that came to everybody's mind was sex. So you said on her period. So you had some type of indication that you wanted to have sex with her, right? Because you said on her period. Who gets flew out and not expect to get Exactly. Sex. So you saying you try to put that on me and say that my thought. I ain't gonna like, lie. She did him dirty. Like, can we just? Yeah, nah. She did him dirty. She could have said, nah. Like, let's wait a couple weeks. Nah. She. She. Yeah. Come on now. 
having fun had to deal with sex. No, you said period. So if you're saying period, then automatically I'm going to say, yeah. Because if you say I flew her out on her period, I'm going to be like, okay, he wanted to have sex with me. (laughs) Sir, yeah. There's nobody not going to fly you out this. Oh, I just want to fly you out to get to know you. We got FaceTime for that. Video (laughs) chat. Facebook. But it's, it's FaceTime and text messages is different when you're in person. Okay. It's a different type of energy. Let's go on to our next guy over here. All right. I'm not going to say I re- I'm not, I wouldn't do it again, but um, I'm, I think this doing this in itself was just, like, spontaneous. Like, mm-hmm. I got the call. I just came back from a trip, and I was like, hey, uh, would you like to come on the show? I was like, oh, shoot. And the crazy thing is I signed up for the show when I was on vacation. <laughs> wow. So it was insane. And I'm sorry if I'm letting out the cat out the back. But, yeah. Um, you that was on vacation with somebody? No, I was Bro, he better say that. He better say, nah, like, this is the last time I'm going to do it because, you know, I'm going to be with you. With my family. Okay. I was just, with my family. I had to ask. I got, I got, the, I got <laughs> I you. I was with the fam. So right, it was I, a bad vacation. Nah, it was a great vacation. Um, But um, that was just spontaneous to just, just come lied. out here right after that. And, <laughs> I mean, would I, I would do it again, but it lied. was definitely a good time. And it is a great time as I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we got one more guy. Kind of like him, man. Join, um, being on the show right here is probably the most spontaneous thing recently because it's out of like, out of the box for me. So um, I mean, I I'm enjoying is. the experience right now so oh, far, yeah. and hopefully it goes well at the end for me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's head on back, and it is time to pop a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Who's> balloon? perfection. <laughs> Relax. I'm Hold on, hold on. Let's let her pop. Let's let her pop. <laughs> you want to get pop? Okay. <laughs> you tried it. Um. Okay, let me squeeze right in. So why did we end up popping his? Um, He said the same thing as him. So it wasn't really no authenticity. It, yeah. It, you didn't set yourself up, like, outside the box for me. Okay. He did How it twice, it? by the way. That's but not you the guys first don't time. Take no, no fun trips. Because <laughs> earlier, he had stole his answer directly. No cap. <laughs> he did yeah, I do, but haven't done any recently. It don't have to be recent. It could be from ten years ago. I mean, losing money in Vegas. A couple of months. Is, I mean, do that you should have said that. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you that's didn't the say most that. Most since then. I mean. You get a little joy man, out of losing the money, but I mean, when you drive you home, it's kind of like sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> never, never play with your winnings. Uh-huh. All right, so we do have two guys left. Guys, any question for our beautiful lady here? Okay, let's start here. Mentally, like, where are you at in your life right now? Like, space? Are you working through some stuff? Are you like, um, how's family life and like just your family as well too are you very family oriented or more or less a, a loner you have a three-on-one question okay yes yes it started off with one but um, now it's three. how am i mentally yes. right now yeah um what's the what's like the the number is it like a one to ten no, or just tell me how you feel like mentally like not not a number it's just like how do you feel i feel great mentally yeah. like so I am a taller teacher, question. so that comes with a lot of stresses. Um, taller kids are, n- they're a handful, mm-hmm. they're two. <laughs> so like a lot of people like to say like terrible twos. Gotcha. I don't like to say that yeah, about my toddlers, right. they're terrific twos. But some of them are, <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. You gotta say but, how's your mental um, health? It's not that bad. My mental is pretty, pretty well. Gotcha. Um, I do do therapy, that's why I ask if that's like not acts but that's one of my deal breakers willing or in therapy because therapy really helps Mm -hmm. um just to talk to somebody that's unbiased because your friends are very biased about you um so yeah mentally i am a-okay what's your next question family like uh like, are you very family oriented? Like, I am family you, you're oriented. at the cookout every time you bring in the, the, the. If there is a cookout, yes, I am there. And gotcha. I'm sorry, DC, but I like Glizzy's. <laughs> Glizzy's and hot dogs is on my plate. I mean, um, hamburgers. Glizzy gobbling. <laughs> 
is on my plate. So yes, I am at the cookout. Why was that in her mind? If my family is throwing a cookout, I'm yes, there. So yeah, I'm very family oriented. I'm closer. I'm close to my brother and my sister. Right up. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Any questions here? Short and simple. I just want to know how many kids you got, okay. if you have any. I have one daughter. What about you? I have two boys. <laughs> okay. Um, same mother, different mother? Same mother. You Technically are... one by DNA, but I claim to. Okay. Um, previous, previously married. Never been married, engaged, none of that. How old are you? 32. Okay. That's all right. Okay. You said two boys? Ooh. Two boys. Jay and JoJo, six and ten, nine. Okay, that's not bad. My daughter's six. Okay, perfect. Okay. Oh, we are down to two. It is time to pop one. <laughs> I know it's tough. They had some good responses. I know. You gotta <laughs> pick. You gotta pick. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh man! I really can't choose, huh? Okay. Um, I can't ask another question. No. Twenty-four. Go ahead and pick. Not just a one. Is it a quick response or is it long-winded? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I... Oh, you can't have them both, you glizzy goblin. <laughs> Why Only did because she say you that, had it bro? out. You might as well put, this time. put it out because you had it out. Your fault. There we go. <laughs> I like that one. All right. I know I saw it was really, really tough to pick between these two. So why did you end up popping his? They both had really great answers, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I just went with it because he already, you perceived, like, mm. your perception is your projection. So if you already thought that it was going to be you, then you are trying to put yourself off the game. It's not fair to you. It's a disservice to you. Show you who You're they very are. handsome. You're very nice. Yeah. I like your answers. But you try to put yourself off the game, and that wasn't fair to you. Okay. So, and you saw I walked past you. So, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> not for me, but just for other, just for other people. Don't do that to yourself Take because you over. never know. Okay. Respect. Okay. Respect. Ooh, let's head on back. Let me bring you on up here. Let's have scoot that way. Scoot that way for me. Okay. So, y'all got to know each other a little bit. Any final questions? Uh, not really. I think I got everything answered. Okay. What about for yourself? Um, is it long? It has to be a long. It can't be long winded. Ask your question. I know you want to ask it. Go ahead and ask it. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. What do you do? I work in production. Camera operator. You live here? No. Where do you live? New York. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, I don't live in New York. I live in DC, but it's. I heard you say it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just said so. Long distance isn't, isn't a problem for you. New York. We're getting, York. To know We're getting to know each other. That's not a problem. Okay, great. All right. So it sounds like that's it. So my final question: Is it a yes for you for her? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, and is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match! Don't it work? Ain't she like a, a fashion something? I'll take this friend. mic. And you guys can go Don't on work. off. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give it up for them, y'all. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Bro, All right, let's go ahead and bring matches. out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? My name is Alexis. And how old are you? I'm 29. All right, and what do you do? I'm a realtor. Okay, and Alexis, we did have you on the show before. Uh, and you actually did end up matching. So what happened? Um, it just didn't work out. Okay. So I'm back again looking for love. Yes, welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I really like just enjoying life, you know, trying to have fun. Um, I like traveling and going on vacation, things like that, doing like arcades, amusement parks, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, someone who's honest and has good communication. Someone who is a leader but also values my voice and my opinion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? 
Probably someone who's dishonest or unloyal. Okay. And uh, someone who's too friendly. Ooh, <laughs> you like I'm a little mean to others, huh? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have no pop balloons. So I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to kind of help us narrow it down a little bit. Okay. Right, that's a self-confidence thing. Um, well, why are you guys here? Why did you sign up for Pop the Balloon? Okay, start right on over here. Name an age and why did you sign up for Pop the Balloon? Ricky, 32, dating pool got pee in it. That's to sum it up. This sucks out here in Arizona. Let's go to our next guy. Name and age, and why are you here? I'm Cedric. I'm 31. Um, I signed up because, yeah, I'm looking for love and, you know, a right woman and all that. I already got my own everything, so just looking for that, you know, match, perfect match, really, more so than anything. Name and age, and why are you on Pop the Balloon? I'm Trey. I'm 29, and I'm here because I'm looking for love. He has tried every other obstacle. I figured this would be a good option to try. And your name and age, and why are you on Pop the Balloon? Uh, my name is Timothy. I'm 37. I'm here because to find love, and I think having a strong relationship is probably the missing piece of my life. Timothy. Okay. Have you been here before? You look familiar. Uh, yeah, episode 15, yes. Okay. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I recognize that face. <laughs> All right, Alexis. So I'm going to hand you a pick. Let me get okay. one for you. There you go. And I am going to have you pop one balloon based off of what you're seeing, what you've heard, whatever it may be. Go ahead and pop that one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, just probably the physical. Just a little bit different from what I'm used to going with. Okay. But you seem like a nice guy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and Cedric, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, she looks nice. She said she's a realtor, so, you know, it's all, like, words for me. So that was it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. And, Alexis, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys another question. Okay. Um... Describe your perfect woman. Okay. He's still thinking. Let's start down there. <laughs> All right. Describe your perfect woman. One that knows when to shut. Perfect woman. You made me first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a really good question. Um, I would say, first off, someone that's open-minded. Um, someone that has good listening skills as much as I do. Um, someone who's definitely wanted to want to grow with me not just not just be talking because a lot of people jokers just be talking out here they ain't they're not really serious um and someone that's kind of like want to be like best friend and a teammate you know you have your thing i have my thing and then at times we come together to be a perfect unit at the end of the day okay i like that <laughs> okay the answer to your question I guess my perfect woman would be like somebody I can, I guess, be my best friend, someone I could joke with, play with, uh, communicate on my be bad days, good days. Um, someone I know that knows I have their back and they have my back, even on um, bad or good days. But just somebody who's willing to work with somebody, build a, build a relationship, not use the other person to gain something more than the other person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ricky, 32. I think the perfect woman for me is somebody who takes the time to understand me for me, because understand me is to know me, somebody who respects me as a man, like, as I will respect you as a woman and a partner. And most important, importantly to me is somebody who's compatible, because I think that's an overlooked art in a dating field, because a lot of people, oh, you're attractive to me and everything, but you're not compatible. So compatibility is a main thing for me, because we're compatible. It's to the moon from there. Okay. All right. Those are good responses, huh? Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, I am going to have you pop one balloon. Okay. Oh, it's getting harder now. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, y'all. <laughs> Where are they supposed to look? <laughs> Where do you want them to look? <laughs> Not at me. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping his? Um, I think I just like the other two answers more and probably physical attraction okay. more as well. So I'm sorry. You're fine. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? She's definitely beautiful. Um, the physical attraction is there. Um, I think she's very, very interesting. Can be more interesting if we got to know each other, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Thank right. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's head on back. And for our two guys left, any questions for our beautiful lady here? You have one? Okay, let's head down over here. Okay, what's your question? Um... So my question is, what is life, what is, what is doing life with, what, what is doing life with you like? Um, so, well, I think it's fun. So, and I'm so, always trying to be positive. So definitely a Jesus. lot of positive energy. Um, I'm the type to motivate you and Jesus. always push so. you, you know, towards your dream and your goals as well. So okay, it's fun over here. I promise. <laughs> I'm feeling. That sounds pretty accurate. I can see that. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's head on back. Okay. Any questions over here? Something easy. We in charge of date night, right? Where's the ideal date for you? What does that look like for you? Um, well, definitely not like the movies or someplace like where we wouldn't talk during the date. So probably you know, like going somewhere, like like I said, I like amusement parks and like stuff like that, arcades. So somewhere where we could interact and get to know each other more, hmm. even like, like dinner or something like picnic that. Picnic dates. Yeah. Horse rides and stuff. Yeah, Carriage I rides. actually like horseback riding. Oh. Say less. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is time to pop. Out of these two guys, whose balloon are we popping? Okay, um... I know it's tough. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, you so... Okay, I saw it was pretty hard, but why did we end up popping his? I like horseback riding. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. That was like the only thing I just... Hey. I don't know, that's tough. You said I should have said that. I'm sorry. Well, I never rode horse, horses, but I was I would be definitely open to doing things if you... Yeah. Whatever you will want to do, so... Mm -hmm. Dang, that was tough. That was a sniper. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, yeah, you got it. For sure. Okay. Let's head on back. Thank you. Exactly. All right. Thing Let me bring you like. on up here. Come on up here. Oh, look, well, he's confident. <laughs> Any final questions between either one of you? How soon are you available for a day? A lot of matches. Pretty soon. <laughs> a lot of matches. All right, then. So is it going to be a yes for you for her? It's hell yeah. Ooh. And is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Thank you. <laughs> what could possibly happen in this last week? Okay, y'all, give it up for them. Give it up, give it up. Seven minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Six minutes now. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Brianna. Brianna, how mm -hmm. old are you? I'm 32. And what do you do? Um, I work in human resources. Okay, very cool. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to just kick it with my family. I'm a real homebody, so we'll get together, cook, music, all that. Okay, mm -hmm. and now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, he has to be a hustler. He has to be ambitious, passionate, um, driven, she that kind of thing. Cartoonish. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, I don't like somebody who's emotionally unintelligent. Mm. Um, I don't like somebody who doesn't stand on their own. Um, and I like a man who is faith driven, whatever that may be. Mm, okay. All right. So we do have three guys left. I mm. know you were the last one. I'm so sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down. See who's more of your match. Okay. Um, are you faithful right now? And if you are, what is your faith in? Okay. Let's start right here with your name and age and the answer to her question. I'm Cedric. I'm 31. Um, I'm a Christian. I don't go to church like that, but I, you know, I do. Like I take my daughter to children's church sometimes, like mm -hmm. in Chandler. Um, but yeah, like more than that, I'm a Christian though. Um, I go to church when I can. Okay. okay. Let's go over here with your name and age and the answer to her question. I'm Trey. I'm 29. Um, I don't really 
have a religion. I just believe in God at the end of the day. But as far as going to church, I haven't been in a while, but I just believe in God. I don't have I don't clarify, you know, classify as no religion. Mm -hmm. okay. Name and age and the answer to her question. Um, Timothy 37, uh, I claim Christianity. Um, I used to go to a non-denominational non church. Okay. Uh, used to sing in praise and worship. Um, I mean, that's, that's what I claim. All right, let's head on back, let's head on back. Okay, I am gonna have you pop one of these guys' balloons, just kind of based off of what you've heard, what you see, whatever it is, so let me hand you a pick. There you go, and then just whenever you're ready. <laughs> uh... All right, so why did we end up popping his? Um, I just think on a, like, any other basis, if I had met you, I don't think that I would have, like, you would have been my type off rip. Okay. Is there anything specific? Um, no, I just don't think there's something I would normally go for immediately. Okay, got it, got it. And now is she someone that's your type? Uh, no, um, but I would, I wanted to hear you out. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm somewhat attracted to you, but it's just, I was just trying to get some more information to see where I could fit in, possibly, and, and, um, I guess today's not a good day today. <laughs> today's definitely not a good day today. I'm not happy right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm not happy right now. Uh -uh. Why aren't you happy right now? Uh, my balloon got popped, that's why. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, not happy right now. It's oh. okay, though. Sorry, Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's head on back. All right, I'm going to have you ask these remaining guys another question. Okay. Um, kids, do you guys have any? If so, how many? Okay. Start over here. Any kids? I got one. She's seven. Do you want more? Um, yes. Okay. I'm down the line one day, hopefully. Okay. Okay. And over here, any kids? No, none. And do you want some? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now for yourself, do you have any kids? Yeah. So I have one son. He's seven. Um, but <laughs> I don't want any more. You don't want any Why do he okay. do it like that, So it's bro. going over here. So obviously <laughs> you end up popping on the kids. So is she someone that is your type, though, oh. before that? Yes. Okay, okay. Makes her your type. Uh, she's physically attractive. I mean, I think she's goal-driven. Um, other than that, hearing what she last said, that she didn't want it anymore, mm -hmm. definitely would have been the kill to it. Right, right. Okay. So is he someone that's your type? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what makes him your type? Um, I feel like his stature, um, his physical appearance is very attractive. You have really nice features. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do have one guy left. Any questions between the two of you? Um, yes. Uh, what's your idea of first date? My idea of a first date? Yeah. Um, I'm a foodie, so I like to try different things. I like to go for an experience, too. So oh, um, something with a little bit of a mix. New food or something like that with a nice like vibe or aesthetic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. All right. Let me bring you on up. We may never know. We never know. Let's see here. So, any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? Um, yes. Uh, like, you travel a lot? Like... Kind of. So, I travel a little bit most of the time for work is okay. where I travel a lot. And when it's not for work, I do like to travel um, in my free time or just to have fun. So, yeah. Okay. So, same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm about the same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So my final question is, is it going to be a match for you for her? Yes. Okay. And is it a match for you for him? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. But it's only because um, I wouldn't want to deprive you of anything, like having more kids or whatever like that. Oh, yeah, nah, and I'm real. just not on that right now. Not nah, for real. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're popping his balloon. Yeah. yeah. I'll have you head back Bow. over there. Thank you. Jeez. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. A lot guys. of matches, though. A lot of matches. Thank you so much. Thank you. A lot of matches. Honestly, I keep, I keep thinking I'm going to stop watching this show, but, you know, I like it. I mess with it.